Well, how's it going, everybody? Gig is thick is here, and uh, what do we have here? So this will be a start of a new series I'm gonna start um, right now today, which is a weapon showcase series showcasing, well, no shit, weapons, but <laughs> um, in like a way that I will try my best to showcase like cool weapon art synergies or maybe some combos here and there. I ask you guys um, if you guys would like the weapon showcases and. Funnily enough, you guys said yes, you um, are actually interested in the weapon showcases. So I figured let's give it a try and let's see what we can do. So the first weapon I'm going to showcase today, it's a very weird weapon maybe for the pe for people that are like, wait, out of all the weapons you started, you're going to try and start with the Great Knife. Um, yes, it's one of my favorite weapons in the game for uh, a very cool reason. This is not only for the Great Knife, but um, the scaling on this weapon is an S index, which is really good. Um, and it also has a cool R2 interaction with Impaling Thrust that makes it a true combo if you land Impaling Thrust. So this build also has Blood Flame Blade. I really like Blood Flame Blade on Inherit um, Blood Weapons. You don't have to infest a lot of Arcane to actually have a decent amount of blood. And the blood buildup on Blood Flame is just so much better in my opinion than your regular normal blood loss. So uh, let's see what we can do with this build, and uh, I hope I can showcase the impaling thrust combo uh, in the showcase. All right, we got our first duel, and we are fighting against a straight sword. Looks like. Uh, hold on. Yeah, there you go. So we uh, are fighting against a straight sword, which is really uncommon in my opinion. You never see straight swords. Oh no, wait, he swapped to uh, claws or um, katars. Which are in claws. Those are fist weapons, actually. So, one thing we have to mention as well is that the running R2 does 80, I think, poise damage, which is pretty nice. But impaling thrust is actually even better. Look at that blood loss already. Uh, that's really fast. Impaling thrust does a lot of. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Uh, well, this is a way to start it, right? Um, this is a... Um oh, that's just going on. I'm sorry. Um, but Impaling Thrust actually inflicts a lot of poise damage. So, you know, the weakness of daggers, which is like the low amount of poise damage it does. Because, you know, it should, I guess, because it's a fast weapon. Impaling Thrust actually counters that entire weakness. Because Impaling Thrust does so much poise damage, you even... Like, stagger people with, what, 100 plus poise? So that is really good. All right. Our next duel is against Mika using the pizza cutter. All right. That actually makes me really hype because the pizza cutter is such a cool weapon. Unfortunately, it's uh, quite weak, in my opinion. So let's see if we can catch with this. I'm definitely noticing some latency. That's all good. Yeah, the blood loss. You see how fast the blood loss is? Uh, the blood loss with blood flame and a weapon with some inherent blood loss uh, values is just uh, crazy. Again, we only have 10 arcane and we're dealing blood damage like we have some investment in arcane, which is uh, quite nutty. For our next battle, we are fighting against Claws, which is really cool. Hey, actually, pretty cool um, mixture of weapons in the arena. Okay, he has some, some of them flies. Let's see what we can do against this build. I'm gonna try and punish that. It's a decent punish. I really want to showcase that impaling thrust combo for you guys. He has quick step. Okay. Uh, did he hit me there or? Oh, he's laggy and he has quick step. Uh, I mean, you know what? That's why I also like blood. Um, against laggy people, did he upgrade his weapon by any chance or? Uh, against laggy people, you'll still build like the, um, the build up, right? Phantom hits, which is really good. He's dead. <laughs> GG's. Man, Blood Flame Blade is such. I don't know why I don't really see that incantation too often. It's such a cool incantation. Um, you can also go for like faith because it does have some fire damage even buffing your damage a little bit But 
be honest, we're using this for the the amount of blood loss it also is, which is, as you can see, quite uh, quite good. All right, for our next duel, we have a wizard. Hey. Is that a wizard? I guess it is. With I'm not sure what kind of weapon that is. Oh. Oh, I don't know what he actually went for, but it looks kind of cool. The sequence. Double slash on it. That is something you rarely see. Nice. Nice hyper armor. But he's kind of close to bleeding, I think. Oh, I tried to outspin. Oh, he's laggy. Yep. He is uh, quite laggy. Yeah. We still got it. That was a good duel. I just... It's just unfortunate that he was slightly laggy, but we still got it. Um, interesting weapon art, actually. I never see double slash, um, let alone on a halberd, right? Or a spear. Cool. All right, so what do we have here? A, a halberd? Padre. Hey. Padre looking kind of tanky, not gonna lie. But again, maybe we can showcase how much uh, poise damage Impaling Thrust does against uh, quite a tanky fellow. Um, again... Like, the running R2 only does 80, so that's not going to break his poise, I think. Oh, he's slightly laggy. A little bit of the latency hitting there. Ooh, interesting that that whip. Let's uh, try and roll catch with this. I did it a bit too early. Let's try this again. Smart, smart. Contested. Yeah, it's a bit... Uh, on the laggy side. Can we whip punish the impaling? The cool thing on impaling thrust is the weapon art itself is also really fast, so it can actually work as a whip punish. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I should have. Oh. Um, I should have not, like. have actually kept it locked on but normally sometimes it actually tends to whip if you are not locked on if you're that close GG's. that was an interesting fight kind of don't know how he got that backstab but uh it is what it is it is what it is in the do what to do but we still got it all right and we have oh it's this guy again it's the wizard the wizard with a uh, double slash, which honestly, I, I again, I've never seen that on just just a weapon, let alone a halberd, you know? Is that a halberd? Yeah, that's a halberd, right? Yeah, that's a halberd. It's been a long time since I've played this game. And it's showing. Uh, slightly lagged again. And the cool thing is, even if you whiff Impaling Thrust, your R2 happens so fast, dude. Look at this pressure. And he's dead. 69, nice. GG's. A little bit unfortunate that it didn't true combo because he was a bit too laggy. But uh, trust me, again, impaling thrust into R2 with these kind of daggers, that is an actual true combo. Alright, we are fighting against the Nomad using uh, a Halberd again. Or a Halberd as well. Uh, he tried, I guess. Oh! Uh, honestly, that is so cool that he has Phantom Slash because the guy that, uh, you know, the Phantom looks like this guy. He's doing a Phantom Slash cosplay. That's cool. Man, I love people having free edit builds. Ooh, what a latency. He's, I think, so close to bleeding already. He might be, ble uh, he might be bleeding out at this moment, at the moment. No, not yet. All right, let's, uh... Let's play a little bit aggressive because uh, he's actually losing his blood loss now. Ooh. Lanes, he also doesn't really make it easy to finish. So I've seen, like, maybe roll catch here. Uh, a bit too. I should have running R2 there since it's a bit slower. So that would actually catch it. Oh, that is such a cool ending. <laughs> that is, damn. All right. That's pretty sick. GG's. All right. Moving on to the next one. We're fighting against Conan. How's it going, Conan? I like the sword you got there, boy. It's very big. Yeah, I know there's a tree there. All right, let's go. Um, we have to be a little bit careful because, you know, uh, <laughs> well, that's why. <laughs> uh, we don't want to face straight against a, a Colossal. Oh, he has BHS. All right, smart. So he's going to probably... Oh, he didn't BHS there. There it is. 
Lord heavens, the pressure. He's gonna be HS here, I guess. Yep. Oh, you see, dude, the delayed blood loss is so nice. Oh, GG's. Again, with normal blood loss, they would have maybe avoided it because that's how you avoid um, normal blood loss, right? You just roll or, you know, when you roll and it, uh, it procs, it doesn't deal any damage. You just avoid the bleed. But with Blood Flame, the delay always, like, triggers the actual Blood Loss damage as well, which is just, it's just really good. Again, I don't really see why people don't use this on other Blood uh, weapons with Inherit Blood, you know? Alright, we have uh, Conan again. Yo, how's it going, bro? Hey. So, yeah, with, with Daggers, it's kind of weird because you have, you want to play aggressive, but you kind of can't because you don't want to face tank a Colossal. You will act, like easily um, lose the trade, as you can see. Nice. I thought he would uh, BHS. There it is. He's close to bleeding. Jesus Christ! GGs. Yeah, it's weird because it's a fast weapon, and you want to be like, woo ah, like very aggressive, and but. Uh, in in this game, it's it's kind of hard to like trade because you will never like win the trade if that makes sense, right? Uh, so that's why you have to be like more like patient and sharp on reactions when they whiff, and then you go in. And we are fighting against random uh, whatever that is saying. I'm not sure what weapon he has in his hand. It looks like a light roll build. Oh, it's a caster. Okay. He has a dagger. Wow. Uh, I think he has like the Earth Tree, uh, Earth Steel Dagger, maybe then, if he has faith. It's Storm Stomp. Okay, interesting. So maybe we can like catch him here. GG's. That was actually kind of interesting. So, that Earth Steel has like a double hitting R2, and a Storm Stomp into that R2 is a true combo. Neat. I think that also will uh, proc the Millicent Precises and the Rotten Winged, which is uh, quite nice for the damage buff. Okay, moving on, we have Barry Block um, using some sort of colossal weapon. Isn't that like the... Yeah, it's the one that summons the projectiles. Alright. Kind of forgot the name. But again, we don't want to face trade against the colossal, so we have to be a bit like sharp on this. Okay, he pressed. I don't know why. I think he's close to bleeding. That's why he's like back battling a little bit. We have to manage our stamina a bit better. Um, let's roll catch him here. There we go. GG's. I missed the roll catch. I was a bit too late on the roll catch because I didn't know um, if he would really roll or not. But uh, he actually did. All right. That was a cool weapon. I think that weapon has a lot of cool, like, aggression um, potential, right? Where you just summon your own projectiles. And the summon is pretty fast, too. So maybe we should dabble with that weapon as well. Moving on to the next one. We have Sylvana. Okay, with the, the grafted sword. Which is kind of uh, like a cool weapon, you know, giving you the buffs and all that. Um, he didn't activate it though, I don't know why. Holy shit, he just did it. I, you know what, I respect that. Boonga, go boonga. But don't do it again though. He's probably close to bleeding already. Also, did you see the true combo there? Oh. Okay, uh, I don't know why he didn't use the grafted buff. That gives you like plus five in, uh, in all kind of stats, right? Interesting. All right, we got Mekot. All right, interesting. With a scythe. Hey, that scythe. Um, it's such a cool scythe with the R2, right? If you charge the R2, but getting a charge R2 is quite difficult. Oh, nice boys. Look at that R2 impaling thrust pressure, man. It's it's kind of crazy. I like it. Oh, okay. Rooks. Oh, I like that bait in. Ah, uh, GG's. I like the bait in with the rocks. 
I think he was hoping for a uh, for an inward roll, so, so he can like uh, propel me f uh, from rolling inwards with uh, the golden. What is it called again? I keep saying Wrath of uh, the Gods, but that's not it, right? <laughs> Wait, where's Wrath of the God coming from in general? Isn't like is it like Dark Souls one? Uh, Wrath of uh, fuck, Wrath of Explosion Boom. I don't know what it's called, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, moving on. We get what the hell? Fire prelate? I'm scared, but I'm also really high because that looks like a very fun build. The man said not one bunk, but two bunkers. I like it. I hope he has the the weapon art as well. Oh, but why is he so laggy? No. Oh no. Prelate. Not like this, bro. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm hella dead. At least I died because of a prelate. It's fine. I did. Oh lord, there it is! That fire might. Yeah, that fire might chip me down if I'm too long. In there! Oh lord, okay. This is scary. Wow, that rook covered mad fast. Or is that because of the latency? That might be because of the latency. I cannot chase this down because uh, that fire might not match. Okay? <laughs> I don't want to jump in that fire. I'm dead. Alright. Um. I have to play a little bit lame. I'm sorry, but I kind of can't like do otherwise. Ah, uh, GG's. I'm so sorry for playing that like passive in the end. But look at my HP. If I if if my right or left foot is in that piece of or, or in that fire, I am dead. And the latency also made it kind of hard to roll catch him. But we still got it. All right, and we are up against Itadori Yuji. That's definitely hey. like some anime cosplay i have no dude i don't know don't ask <laughs> i don't know but um he's using the mantis blade i like the mantis blade and that is a shield to parry my ass so i'm gonna be a little bit more careful Oof. okay nice beast roll. oh that had a lot of stagger on there i don't i didn't know the stagger would be that good oh, Lord. Just, just do it i don't care nice chase down though um Okay. Oh, okay. I respect all the um, throwing items. Ooh, he tried to whip punish, but it, again, like I already said, impaling thrust has so like. If you cancel an R two out of impaling thrust, it happens so fast. He might be dead because of the blood build up. If I. GGs. Big GGs. I actually really like the double mantis play. You rarely, you never, I wanted to say rarely, but you never see the Mantis Blade. And the R2 is pretty cool. Fully charged R2 gives you guaranteed R1. And not gonna lie, people say, oh, but it's so slow. Well, it ain't the worst in my opinion. It's quite okay. It's not super fast, but definitely something you can land, if that makes sense, right? And you don't have to like do endure and hope for traits. No, it's okay. You can definitely land without it. And we are fighting our last duel against Fractal Dog. Hey, hey. And he is... I'm seeing a um, talisman there. Hey. Alright, damn. He's uh, going in. Alright, I like it. He has the Phantomous Claws as well. Interesting build. Throwing knife. Light roll, which is kind of oppressive still in my opinion. But it is what it is. He also has Impaling Thrust. Cool. Do it again. <laughs> oh, these fights are funny as fuck. <laughs> All right. He also has blood on the Phantom's Fang, which honestly is one of the builds I wanted to showcase as well how potent that is. It's so strong. It deals so much poison and bleed at the same time. And when you prog poison and bleed at the same time, um, oh Lord. Okay, geez. <laughs> you can do a lot of damage with the talisman, right? Where you uh, get a damage buff if you prog poison or bleed. Yeah, that's definite. Maybe that literally might be my next episode um, of the showcase series, where I showcase the Phantomous Fangs, which, in my opinion, is uh, ridiculous. If you have the right build, you can go for a cult, you can go for poison and bleed, you can go for uh, what else? RKR. So uh, be on the lookout for that. So that will be the showcase uh, episode number uno, which is um, focused on a great knife with impaling thrust as a synergy with a true combo. Uh, I'll say give this a try. If you're not a fan of the Blood Flame Blade, you can also just infuse it with, uh, like, maybe Sacred. 
or uh, lightning and just go uh, go to town with that all right everybody thank you so much for checking this video uh, I hope you guys really like this again recording this is really fun so if you guys are down for more showcases uh, let me know if you have any recommendations of the weapons or also spells and or sorceries yes I will also showcase those just hit me up in the comment section man I will just read as much as I can if I see something interesting or something that really like sparkles the interest of other readers or other commenters, I will just focus on that and probably um, showcase that on the next episode. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for checking out and I'll see y'all hey. in the next one.